Welcome to the Mid-Month Climate and Water Outlook for July to September. I'm Dr Claire McCluskey. And I'm Dr Andrew Watkins. Before we look forward at the outlook, let's reflect on recent conditions. Andrew, what's been happening in terms of rainfall recently? Well, despite a drier May, good rainfall has fallen in the east since the start of the year, though it was drier in the west until May. So what does this mean for soil moisture and runoff into the dams, Claire? Well, that good rainfall that we saw since the start of the year has contributed to maintaining well above average soil moisture in the southeast of the country, particularly in the Murray-Darling Basin and Tasmania. So this means these catchments are primed for good inflows into storages with some follow-up rainfall. But across the country in the west and certainly through parts of central Australia, the soils are drying out with below to very much below average soil moisture conditions. So shifting our focus uh, forward a little bit, what's driving the climate at the moment and can we expect these patterns to continue? For July to September, it is the continuing warmth to our east out in the tropical Pacific Ocean, which is increasingly looking La Nina-like that will have a big effect. And likewise, some warmth remains in the eastern Indian Ocean, despite some recent reductions in temperature due to tropical cyclone Manga and some higher pressures over the Indian Ocean Basin. So Andrew, what does this mean for the rainfall outlook through to September? Well, for the rest of June, it's actually looking quite dry. And this is primarily because of that that strong positive SAM signal that we should see over the coming weeks. And this is quite a difference to what we were originally expecting for June. But for the July to September outlook, it's looking wetter than normal over much of southern Australia, with the exception being down in Tasmania. This will also have some impact on stream flow, won't it, Claire? That's right. So in the southeast, we're expecting high stream flows helped by those wetter soils and the rain to come. Elsewhere, though, mostly low and near median stream flows are likely for June to August 2020. In particular, over in the west, low flows are expected where we're seeing the drying out of the soil. So, Andrew, what about temperatures in the coming months? Despite the wetter outlook, we're still looking at warm conditions across northern Australia, but those chances of warm days reduce in the south. The southeast in particular has no strong push towards warmer or cooler days. But in terms of nights, with more cloud and wetter soils which can hold heat for longer, the nights are looking warmer than average. Thanks for joining us. Please keep updated on our website and we'll see you next time.